Hey loyal fans and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. In the last episode, we raided the Star Forge and in this episode we shall continue on. Hopefully get to some important bits. Um, first of all, sorry for no videos in a while. I've been very busy. Fourth of July, birthday, yada yada yada. Personal problems. <coughs> but while we're at it, we might as well get some nice remains. Come on, Carf, get out of the way. Do and watch that ship go. And welcome to Grind Station. <coughs> this is the easy part. Yeah, these turns are the easy part, folks. Let me see, nothing yet. Oh, get off my foot. That's something that's on my foot. Hey, did I upgrade any? Yeah, I did. Why am I, why am I not using the improved flurry? Oh, I'm so, I'm so dumb. I forget what I upgraded. Oh, for some reason I'm not used to the controls anymore. What happened? It's not been, it hasn't been that long. Let's put up a shield. Okay, continuing on. And do do do. Let me see what can I talk about. Uh, let's see what can I talk about. There's not much to talk about right now. We're just simply destroying turrets and whatnot. Oh! Oh, come on, Jolie and Karth gets to go into the ultimate grind stage, and I can't. What level am I anyway? Oh, I'm maxed out. Of course I am. Level 20 is the max. So no need for me to grind here. I'll just let them keep on fighting while I go run over here. Seriously, no need to fight them. Now, I think Jolie and Carp could be using another level up. What's coming up next, they're not needed. So yeah. Yep, let's go through this door. I have a very bad feeling about this. Oh, my suspicions were true, but this is a really awesome room. Let's go and push these guys away. Oh yeah, right on the ground. Oh yeah. <laughs> it sounded odd. Oh well, they have high saving throws, they're saving all that. There we go. And we'll let them duke it out. Ow! While I... Go find a computer. There it is. I'm gonna get something kinda cool. Let's slice the computer. We got a ton of spikes, so we have nothing to worry about. Customized Jedi robes? Yes! Now, if you want to get other things like heavy armor, which Scarf has better armor anyway, you can go and get that. Yep. These robes I have. Ooh, down goes Jolie. And S Starforge robes. Can't put it on because I'm fighting. So kill, kill, kill. Ah! 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 
Kill all the Dark Jedi! Oh boy, uh, I can't heal them up either. Okay, I don't want Karf to go down. Ready. Oh, Karf just went down. Perfect. Sure. Uh, run! Uh, I don't know what to. Oh, uh, hey, I'm not in. I'm not in battle stance. Good. There we go. Ta-da! Yeah, not the best looking robes, but it's a robe. See, robe. But what? What is it? What does it have anyway? Forget. Bonus of five, dexterity of eight, saves two, wisdom five. That's probably what you want. Let's blow them away. And then run the ow! And then run like a wimp, run like a wimp, like a little wimpy Jedi. We shall run. Run like a wimp. And I forget which door I'm supposed to go into. Um. Okay. Far one. Okay. And if I'm going to run like a wimp, I better run like a wimp in style. Now run like a wimp! Run like a wimp! Now then, if I go ahead and get here, elevator door, perfect. Of course, and Jolie and Carf are down. So I can't quite leave. Or, scratch that, I can leave. Shiny, sparkly, pretty, she's so pretty. I mean, uh, whatever. Master, why have you summoned me? Without my battle meditation, there is a chance the Republic capital ships could break through and attack the Starforge itself. This will not take long, Bastula. You will be able to resume your battle meditation soon enough. I only wanted you to know that Revan is here on the Starforge. Revan? The Force is bringing us towards a confrontation with my old master. The Starforge has drawn our enemies together, so they may all die in a single glorious day. You must kill Revan to prove yourself worthy of being my apprentice, Bastila. You must finish what began in the Rakatan Temple. Yes, Lord. Rakatan? <laughs> I sense your fear, Bastila. But it is unfounded. The power of the Starforge will feed the dark side within you. It will give you the strength you need to defeat my old master. Stay here in the command center while you use your battle meditation against the Republic fleet. Revan will find you here in due time. It is inevitable. Of course, master. I will not fail you again. So, we're going to have to fight her again. Perhaps you will triumph, Bastula. But even if you fail, it will give me the time I need to complete my preparations of the station's defenses. And then we shall see if Revan can stand against the full fury of the Starforge. <laughs> Evil laugh! He's a villain! Oh wait, I think we already know that. Okay, let's continue on. To not room number two where you can instant infinitely go ahead and kill everybody. I don't want to. I don't need to. I don't need the experience. I don't need the items. I don't need any of it. This, of course, then will not end well because I just forgot to heal up Jolie and Carf. And because I really don't want to go through all that. Uh, not yet. Like 
Good. This way! This way! Don't just ignore him, guys! I'll heal you up later. Just get over here. Karth, Jolie, I command you. My servants, get over here. Oh, please. Ah, oh, here comes one. Down goes a party member. Oh, boy, I should have. Oh, well. Challenge! Oh, no, you don't slap me. I slice you up into pieces. Just like Mises. Who's there waiting for me? Where's the zoom when you need it? Oh, yeah. Uh, go away, red soldier. Click, 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 click. Okay, okay, done, done. <laughs> I think that was even more annoying. Not be... I'm just being annoying here. Yes! We pushed the door! Oh! This is embarrassing! Oh, you do not push me. I push you. Oh. By the way, I got someone sliced up. Stay down for a second. Oh, that's cute. You think you can throw a grenade at me. Oh, how cute. You think you can kill me. Oh, yeah, after I go ahead and do all that. Oh, well, he stunned you. That's why I love critical hit. Now where's Carf and Jolie? Useless. Might as well heal up. Yeah, a ton of med packs. Now if you were following along, sort of anyway, and you did take my advice, you are now thanking me. You know, with med packs. Ow! Okay, you push me down, I push you down harder. Off the ledge! Goblin Team style! Oh, come on, go off the ledge. They can't. Oh, now they're both stunned. There, there we go. No Karth, no Jolie. Hmm. Okay, why do they have a door there? Can anyone explain there's no bridge, no indication of a bridge, just a door? Why is there a door there? What purpose does that serve? Is it for pranking people? Hey, come over here, there's something inside this room. What, what's inside the room? That'd be awesome prank. Actually, I think that's it. I thought this was going to go long, longer. <laughs> A lot longer. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's funny. Carping, carping, go, Jolie, I can't even talk now because it's so funny. Revan, I knew you'd come for me. Oh, yeah. I'm no longer Revan. I'm John Nova. Sadly. Claim the power of your previous identity, I would be your apprentice, not Malak's. True. But you rejected the dark side. Now you must pay the price. Yeah. Here on the Star Forge, the power of the dark side is at its strongest. This time, you will not defeat me. That's mean. You could just close the door. Oh well. Uh, poor, poor misguided Bastila, really thinking she can beat me. I've gotten really e egotistical today. Oh yeah, she has high will, doesn't she? I guess I'm gonna have to fight her. Let's fight! See, just one hit and she's already halfway down. Pretty easy fight. I see now why I'm even though you're only a show of your former self, you're still a formidable opponent. I can't even imagine the power you must have wielded when you were the Dark Lord. 
You were a fool to give it all up and follow the light side. You've been consumed by the dark side, Bastila. Can't you see it's destroying you? The dark side has made me stronger than I ever was before. I have a greater command of the Force than all but the most powerful Jedi Masters. As Malak That's not a good argument. the greatest secrets of the Sith, I will unlock more of my potential. Eventually, there will be no limit to what I can accomplish with the Force. You'll accomplish death and destruction with the dark side. Nothing else. Jedi propaganda. The dark side is only a tool, and Malak will train me in its use. Eventually, I will surpass my master and challenge him. If I am worthy, he will die by my hand. Then I will take on my propaganda. own Propaganda! The cycle will begin again. This is the way of the Sith. It is how we assure our leaders are always the strongest and most worthy. You're dooming yourself to an endless cycle of death and betrayal. No, Revan. It is you who are doomed. Great comeback! Folks, we got the comeback of the century! And by that I mean WHAT A STUPID COMEBACK! Like elementary taunt. Wow, this is too really easy. Soon this will all be over. <laughs> Did she just really say that? I took her down with two hits. And she says I'm failing? <laughs> this is a medium, people. She's... Oh... I have not faltered. You've been misled by the dark side. <laughs> The dark side will always triumph over the light. Malak has assured me of victory. You can't defeat me here on the Star Forge. You can't. Yes, now I instantly cannot defeat you because you said that. There. Ooh, that's actually a nice move. I'm going to die. So, yeah. Now I've finally been brought down to my place. Good. There we go. It's getting really hot where I am. Ugh. Sorry for the fan. If I don't, I die. Come on, John. There we go. That's no Jedi. You have rejected the dark side. You are a weak and pathetic servant of the light. How can you still stand against me? Why can't I defeat you? I'm stronger than you could ever be, Bastila. Yes, I see you speak the truth. I'm no match for you. Please, for the sake of what we once shared, do not make me suffer. End my life quickly. There is no other way. I can never kill you. What other choice do you have? I have fallen to the dark side. I am the apprentice to the Dark Lord himself. You cannot let me live. I was redeemed, Bastila. You can be too. You were a special case. The Council had no other choice. They needed you alive so they could discover the location of the Star Forge. It was an act of desperation. It was my responsibility to watch over you, to make sure you did not slip back into your evil ways. I was supposed to protect you from the dark side. Good job of that. <laughs> and yeah, I still haven't forgiven the council for not telling me. You can't predict someone from the dark. Predict. You can't protect someone from the dark side. Each individual must choose their own path. I suppose you're right. If the path I have chosen is that of the dark side, I don't see any way I could atone for what I've done. I deserve to die. A 
I love you, Vassila. I can't abandon you. Ever. You love me. There was a time I yearned for, and yet dreaded to hear those words. I loved you too, but I could never face who you were. Malak knew how I felt. Any part of the light that was within me would be extinguished when I killed you. But what good is love? It cannot save me from the sea of blackness I am drowning in. I have betrayed everything I ever believed in. How can I atone for that? Help us defeat the Sith, Bastila. This will atone for what you have done. Yes, I could join you in your battle against the Dark Lord. That alone would not make up for all I have done. Yet it would be a step in the right direction. But how would you be able to trust me? How do you know I wouldn't turn on you when you face Darth Malak? How do you know the dark side wouldn't make me betray you again? Well, I trusted you enough to leave myself open to an attack, even though I did not. You play a dangerous game. Are you certain you wish to take this risk? I could end your life and gain Malak's favor with a single stroke of my lightsaber. Ha! You won't. Because I love you and I believe in you. You are brave. That sounded bad. And foolish. The dark side has wholly consumed me. And you will suffer for failing to see that. If I have to kill her, I am going to be very, very mad. I will restart the game and get off to the right way. I have to kill her. Hopefully I can still save her. Okay, I am now mad. Okay, let's give the other one a try then. You won't, because I know you still serve the light. You were brave, and some would say foolish. But you were also right. The dark side has not wholly consumed me. I cannot raise my blade against you. You will go on to defeat Malak. Of this I have little doubt. He will have gone from being the Sith Lord himself to the savior of our galaxy. And you said you loved me. This may not be the best time to say it, but I love you too. With all my heart. So you're not afraid to love anymore? After this? No. Nothing could make me feel safer than to be loved by you. You should go. Malak awaits. This isn't over yet. I should stay here though. If we face Malak, I am afraid his dark presence will overwhelm me. It would not be wise to expose myself to such temptation. You could use your battle meditation to aid the public fleet, eh? <laughs> yes, that would be for the best. You don't need me to defeat Malak anyway. Now I understand that a true Jedi is a match for any Sith, even the Dark Lord himself. I will stay here in this chamber and use my battle meditation to aid the Republic fleet. I am their only hope of destroying the Star Forge and ending the Sith menace. You must go and face Malak, but you have to hurry. Once I turn the battle in the Republic's favor, we won't have much time to escape the Star Forge before it's destroyed. Good luck, my love, and may the Force be with you. That's the ending I'm looking Break in the Sith formations. Green Squadron, move in. Green Squadron, moving in. Green Squadron's through. We've broken their lines. Bastila is no longer using her battle meditation against us. The tide has turned. Red Squadron, into the breach. Capital ships, reinforce their position. Right. 
Now's our chance. Get back to Starforce with everything we've got.